Hey guys, I figured I would do a different kind of video today because I pretty much always talk about makeup or clothing or just like weird collective things in general and you guys don't really know the real me I guess or you don't really know um, a whole lot about me anyway so I figured I would share some weird facts about myself. I saw this tag on Tumblr and I'm going to be looking down at my phone a lot so I'm sorry about that but let's get going with the questions. So the first question on here is, what is a nickname your family call you? So there are quite a lot of nicknames that my family have given me over the years. Uh, when I was born, my nickname was Baldrick. If you guys ever watched Black Adder, um, you will know the character Baldrick. Um, this was kind of like a weird thing. Everyone in my family had different Black Adder nicknames. Like my mum was Nursie, I think. No, I think she was Elizabeth and my nan was Nursie. Um, I was Baldrick. And I don't think they ever gave my sister a nickname because she's a little bit younger than me and Blackadder was kind of over by then. So that was the first ever nickname I was given. Uh, my mum also calls me Lindsay Wincy Spider for kind of, you know, obvious reasons. I, I was always kind of a little bit weird when I was younger, so that's where that came from. Plus, um, I was never afraid of spiders when I was a kid, so yeah. Um, she also calls me Inky, as does my nan, as did pretty much everyone I was in school with, but that was because I was drawing all the time and I used to draw up my arms. I would get in trouble for it all the time because I would like doodle tattoos up my arms and uh, all the teachers used to tell me that I was going to get ink poisoning and die, so that's where that one came from. And um, the other main one that I'm called is Isnil. My sister's the only person who calls me this. Ever since we were kids, uh, we used to talk backwards and we had our own language and um, she calls me Isnil because that's my name backwards and I call her Ikin because that's her name backwards and it does get a little bit confusing for people sometimes um, when I talk about her and I call her Ikin people sometimes don't know who I'm talking about or if we're out meeting new people and they're like oh is that your sister what's her name I say Ikin and they look at me like is that her real name <laughs> so yeah we do that uh, Mikey we have loads and loads of nicknames for each other but mostly he calls me Bug, which I always thought was pretty cute. He calls me Bug and I literally have like a bazillion nicknames for him, which I'm not going to go into now because that could be a whole video of its own. Question number two, do you have any weird habits? I know that I do, but they're not the sort of things that I really notice unless people point them out to me. One thing that a lot of people point out to me is that I eat everything with a knife and fork, which I don't think it's weird at all, but if I go out for food with friends, it doesn't matter where we go. If you, you come out with like a burger or pizza or a sandwich, if you give me a knife and fork with that item, I will eat it with a knife and fork. And I never thought it was that weird. Mikey still always makes fun of me when I do it now. We've been together nearly nine years, but I went out for dinner with my friend the other day and he said exactly the same thing. He was like, why are you eating a chicken wrap with a knife and fork? It's in a wrap for a reason. I'm like, but if I have a knife and fork, I don't have to touch it. So. I don't think that's weird, but other people do. The other thing that I do is whenever I eat a meal, I have to have a pillow underneath my plate, otherwise it feels weird. Um, I also have like a massive list of foods that I can't eat together. Um, I'm sure a lot of people just have like preferences of things that can't go together, but there's a lot of common foods that are eaten together that I would never ever put those things together because for me it, it's, it's gross. The other weird food thing that I do is when I eat an apple, I will eat the whole thing. Obviously not the stalk and the pips, but I eat the core and apparently that's a strange thing, but I mean, you're just wasting the apple. The core's perfectly nice, so I eat the whole thing. There's a couple of other things I do. I don't know if you would call them weird, but when I do my makeup in the morning, I always put the eyeliner on the back of my hand because I use a gel eyeliner and I always draw a cross. So I've always got like a black cross on my hand. I haven't today because I actually washed it off because Mother's Day and my mum would tell me off, but yeah. Um, and the other thing I do is if I'm riding my motorbike at night, I sing really, really loudly and I never sing to myself normally. Even if I'm in the house by myself listening to music, I don't sing very often, but if I'm on my bike at night, I do it. <laughs> and I would never do it in the daytime, but for some reason when it's dark outside, I, I sing like all the way home. Number three, do you have any phobias? Yes. and. I think most people would say that my phobias are weird. The main phobia that I have is a fear of babies, pregnancy and childbirth. It absolutely terrifies me. I'm, I don't ever want kids. Me and Mikey have had this discussion. Um, he knows that I'm not comfortable with having children. 
we have decided that if we do eventually want to have kids that we will adopt because it as natural supposedly as childbirth is to me it seems like this freaky alien experience where you're growing something in your stomach and then you have to go through the horror of childbirth my mum told me that i was a very difficult pregnancy um, and she told me way too much information about that so that put me off also a friend of mine who i used to work with she was pregnant and one day she went, hey, Linz, come and look at this, it's amazing. And um, she pulled up her t-shirt and I could see her baby's foot like poking out of her stomach. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. So yeah, that was like from an alien horror film. So I don't ever wish to have children. Um, as far as I'm aware, I've never held a baby unless I was really, really young. I know I've never held a baby because it scares the shit out of me. Um, I actually looked up the names of these phobias because I found it kind of interesting. The fear of pregnancy and childbirth childbirth. Fear of pregnancy and childbirth is called tocophobia. Um, the other phobia that I have is feet. I don't like the look of feet. I don't like people touching my feet. I don't like touching other people's feet. Um, and I tend not to tell people this because when they find out they try and touch my feet or they'll wave their feet at me and they think it's really funny. So I, I try not to um, let people know that I don't like feet that much. That one is called podophobia. The other phobia I have, I couldn't actually find a description for this one because it's quite specific. I'm not afraid of water, um, I'm not afraid of being in the water, but the second that my head is underwater I panic and I breathe in. It's the same if I'm in the shower I can't have the water on my face because I freak out and if I'm in the bath sometimes I'll try and hold my breath and go into water and I can't do it. So that's a big phobia for me. And the other one is mycophobia which is a fear of mould. Um, I think this is probably more normal because mould is kind of gross, but if I see mould I start gagging, it, even like if I can't smell it I see it and I, I want to throw up, uh, which is weird, but yeah, those are my phobias. Question number four, is there a song that you secretly love? I don't think I have any really embarrassing songs that like I'm really into, like some people like Disney musicals and stuff, I can't think of anything really weird that I like. Occasionally there are some strange things that come up on my playlist because I have a Halloween horror playlist on my phone and occasionally that will come up with zombie noises and chainsaw noises which I get some strange looks for but I don't sit and listen to it all the way through, it's just on there and I haven't removed it yet. The other thing that I listen to is Purple People Eater. I will sing that really loudly <laughs> when it comes on and I guess that's kind of a weird song. Number five, what are your pet peeves? The one thing that annoys me the most in this world are people who eat really loudly and especially people who eat with their mouths open. It drives me absolutely insane. I used to live with four boys and they all did it. It wasn't intentional, it wasn't to annoy me, but they all ate really, really loudly and it used to drive me mad to the point where I'd have to leave the room and if I was eating my food, I would go and eat my food in another room because it would just make me so angry. <laughs> Oh, that's something that annoys me, is another noise thing. If you're on public transport and someone is sniffing, like, if they only sniff a few times, it doesn't bother me that much, but I was on a bus up to London, and it takes seven hours for me to get from Pembrokeshire to London on a bus, and there was a guy behind me, and he sniffed all the way there. I think I timed it, and it was like every five, six seconds he was sniffing, and you can imagine hearing that for seven hours would drive you absolutely insane. I had my headphones in, and I had music on, and it didn't matter how loud I turned it up, I could still hear it. So yeah, I think I just have noise issues. <laughs> Number six, do you have any nervous habits? I do, and I didn't notice these until I had a job interview a couple of weeks ago. Um, I play with my fingers really badly when I'm nervous and it's not something I'd ever noticed before but the whole time I had my job interview I was like playing with my fingers under the table and I, I couldn't stop doing it so that's one and the other thing I do I don't know if it's so much of a nervous thing I think it's more something that I just do unconsciously throughout the day and I don't notice is um, I chew the skin on my lip really really badly it doesn't look too bad at the moment but most of the time it looks like really dry and horrible um, yeah, I don't realise I do it. I think I do it in my sleep as well, so that really, really annoys me. What side of the bed do you sleep on? If you're looking at the bed, I sleep on the left-hand side. And me and Mikey were thinking about it the other day. We've lived in five or six different places now, and we've always slept on the same side of the bed. It's not something that's planned. It's It just feels natural. 
Even if we go to hotels or if we stay at a friend's house, we always sleep on the same side of the bed. Number eight, what is your fierce stuffed animal? I could show you. So this is my fierce stuffed animal, or in the UK, we would call them teddies. This is Loppy, and I'm pretty sure he was given to me when I was born. Um, he does look kind of old now, bless him. He's losing the fur on his face. These ears have been sewed on many, many times because I used to carry him around by his ears. Poor Loppy, I'm sorry. I'm sure I didn't actually name him. I'm pretty sure someone named him for me because he was given to me at birth, so. Um, yeah, I used to take him everywhere and we had the same birthdays and I used to make him clothes as well. Um, yeah, he used to go everywhere with me, so this is my Loppy. I think my Nan gave him to me. Um, but yeah, I don't have loads of stuffed animals or anything. I've just kept him because like he was my first. And we went through some tough times together when I was little. Okay, don't judge. Next question. Do you, what drink do you always order at Starbucks? Well, we don't have a Starbucks where I live. I'm pretty sure the nearest Starbucks to here is like 80 miles away. And I don't really go into a Starbucks when I'm in like London or cities because I don't drink tea, I don't drink coffee and I'm lactose intolerant. So the things that I can drink on that menu are very, very limited. Um, I have been in there a couple of times and I had this mango smoothie thing. I don't know what it's called. But yeah, that's what I would drink if I had to go to a Starbucks. Number 10. Do you have any beauty tips that you preach but do not practice? Yeah, the one that I think I go on about the most is making sure you take off your makeup before bed. And I don't always do this. It's something that I'm getting bad about lately. I will make the effort to take it off. Um, a couple of years ago, I would literally just sleep on my makeup all the time and I had really bad skin. No wonder because you know, sleeping and makeup all night and then you've got the bacteria on your pillow, it's not good. So that's something that I used to do. I don't do it as much anymore, but I do still do it every now and then. The only other thing is drinking water because it's really good for your skin. I always say that you should drink lots of water because it's good for you. And yeah, uh, in my New Year's resolutions, I said I had to drink more water because I don't drink any. So that's the other one. I am getting better with that though. Number 11, which way do you face in the shower? So I have that weird thing about like my face being underwater or water being on my face. So I tend to face out of the shower. I can hear Mikey coming up the stairs. Hey Mikey. Hey. I'm filming a video, how you doing? <gasps> yeah, so um, I face away from the shower when I'm in the shower. Um, yeah, because of that whole like face water thing, it freaks me out. Uh, 12, do you have weird body skills? Do I have weird body skills? Oh, I can do that thing with my nose. I can do a bunny nose. But that's pretty much it. I can't do anything else weird. I used to be able to bend my thumb all the way. No, I can't do it anymore. I used to be able to bump, bend my thumb all the way back to my elbow. But um, I think that takes practice and I'm not very flexible anymore, so I can't do that. Number 13, what is your favorite bad comfort food? That's a really hard question. I like to think that I eat pretty healthily most of the time and there isn't like a specific bad food that I'll always buy or like comfort food because I don't eat chocolate um, and stuff like cake and bad foods I don't really eat all that often. I really like cowl, um, that would be a comfort food for me, but again, I don't eat that that often. I might have to ask, 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 <coughs> I might have to ask Mikey that one, because I'm not sure. Hey Mikey, what's a bad comfort food that I like to eat? I can't think of anything that I eat often that's bad for me. Candy? I don't eat I don't eat it that often though. I quite like nerds. Yeah, it's not really a comfort food, is it? Well about that time you ate a block of icing. That was one time. <laughs> that was one time when I was on my period and it was the only thing in the house with sugar. Blocks of icing are not a comfort food. Okay. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Anyway, number 14, what are your most commonly used phrases? Um, this week, my phrase of the week has been cock. 
every time I've dropped something on the floor or done something stupid or something has annoyed me, I've said, oh cock. Um, other things that I say, kift, which probably means nothing to most of you, but it's, I don't know if it's a Pembrokeshire word or a Welsh word. I legitimately thought it was in the dictionary and then found out that it's like this made up word. But it basically means pretty much when someone's a bit special or um, when, I don't know, it's hard to describe. If someone was being a bit useless at something, you would say that they're being kiffed or something's being kiffed or, for example, I would probably refer to myself as kiffed most of the time because I drop things and I'm clumsy, so kiffed. Uh, the other word that I use is Pam, which is the Welsh word for why. I say Pam every now and then, uh, and if you don't sound Welsh, that is probably a strange word. Uh, what else do I say? Grim. If I think something's gross or disgusting, I'll say that it's grim. But uh, other than that, I don't think I have any other phrases that I use quite often. And then we've got the last question. What do you wear to bed? Well, 99% of the time I don't wear anything to bed. I like to sleep naked because it feels comfortable. Um, and our house is quite warm most of the time, so I feel too hot and constricted if I wear pajamas. But if it is cold, I have this lumberjack shirt. Um, I thought it was in here, but it's not. I have um, like one of those red lumberjack shirts, which I actually bought for Gemma's hem party because she wears them. So we all bought one, so we look the same. Um, and I thought, oh, it's a waste of money, I'm never going to wear it because it's coloured and it's really big, it doesn't really fit me very well. But it's so comfortable that if it's cold, I will wear that to bed with um, like a pair of long socks or something, so it's kind of snuggly. But that is it, the weird questions tag is over. If you guys want to do this tag, please link below so I can check out your videos because I like finding out weird facts about people. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this tag video. Do you think I should do more of them? I kind of enjoy doing it because you guys get to know me a little bit better. Um, I've seen loads and loads of different tag videos, but I thought this one would be a little bit more fun and not so boring, like asking, you know, how old are you? What's your name? Where do you live? What color underwear are you wearing kind of thing? <laughs> so I'll see you guys again soon and thanks for watching. Bye.